If you are looking for simple ways to help your child learn how to blend letter sounds or begin to identify letter sounds, join me today for these four simple activities. Hi, I am Corbella Guy of Yasser Rose Learning, a former kindergarten teacher, preschool teacher, and I just love helping parents think of simple ways to help their children learn the skills they need. Okay, so today I just have on my notepad here, four activities that I have used with former students to help them as they learned how to read. So I'll just get into them. Okay, the first one, super simple. Um, you can take letter cards. I, um, I tend to like the letter cards that have the red um, for the vowels and the blue for the consonants or the other way around, either way. It's differentiated for children. So what you would do is you would give your child these cards. Give them, um, if you were going to say the word cat, you would give them C, the A, the T. You'd mix it up. And then you'd say cat and see if they can order, if they can order the letters, the letter sounds in the order that you say the word. This helps you identify which sounds they're actually hearing first, second, and third, or which sounds they're missing out on completely. So that's a simple one. You say the word cat, they would have to order the letters and then they would have a chance to read it. So you're also helping them because they've heard the word already. So when they put it together, they can say it. Um, another thing you can do actually, if you want to decrease the difficulty is just give them one letter, show them the stem and then give them one letter that they have to choose to, to put in. So for example, you would put the A, the T together at, and then you would give them an M and a C and you would say cat and then they would have to identify which letter goes to make that word and then they'd read it. So that's a simple one. It doesn't take much prep. Um, you can either download these letters or you can just write them out yourself. Either way, sim simple and practical. All right, so number two <clears throat> would be to give your child um, the red the red and blue letters but on large pieces of paper okay this is where I love this because it, it uh, allows children who are kinesthetic learners to get in on it so you would print out the letters or write them on larger pieces of paper and set them on the floor and your child would hop on each letter and say the sound so if it's cat they would hop on the C and go k and then ah, and then t and then at the end, you would have the word written out on one piece of paper and they would jump over the word as they blend it all together. So it would be, the sequence would go k -a -t cat. okay? So it's fun for them because they're actually having a chance to move around and um, it's much more uh, physical and appealing for little children who may not want to sit down all the time, okay? Another thing you could do, grab a notebook, super simple, right? And make sure it has the spirals at the top. And then you go ahead and you, oh, here we go. Cut it down the center. And what you're doing here is you're going to make like a little flip reader for your child. And I love these because you can buy these really pretty cheaply. And so you can make as many as you want and you can put whatever stem they're working on um, at the moment. So here I have at and what the child would do is they would read p at pat and flip and read at hat and flip and read k at cat and flip and read. Now this is about blending so we don't have to read actual words but they need to be able to blend the sounds together. So we have w at what that'd be a fun one and then z at zat and a fun thing to do you could with this is you could actually have them go through and decide which ones were real words and which ones were actually just um pretend words so that's that's another fun thing you can do another um activity you could do with your child to have them identify the sound and blend is give them, the, previously I said give them the stem. You can take away that ending sound, okay? 
So you give them the letters, you would say cat, and you would give them k, a, and they would have to choose what is that ending sound. So when children learn letter sounds to blend, we start with the beginning, then we go to the end, and then the middle, because it's usually pretty hard for them to hear that middle sound, but if you start with the beginning sound, work on that, and then you flip it over to the end. So now their focus shifts on what am I hearing at the end of the word? And then you move to what sound are you hearing in the middle? So those are four simple ways you can help your child uh, master blending. And remember, this, this was what? Maybe a dollar, if that, super cheap. Um, and the, the red and blue letters you can find on my website for free www.yasaraslearning.com or you can make them yourself. So these are really practical ways you can help your child begin to um, blend letters. Give one of them a try and let me know. I'm super interested to know which children would love the one where they get to jump on the letters and then jump over the word as they're blending. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. And I'm um, gonna check real quick and see. Nope, no questions. And thank you for joining me today. And I will see you guys next time. Be sure to head on over to www.yasaro's learning. I have blog posts that cover other topics and you can have access to my free resource library. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.